They say in life you can count on two things, death and taxes. But there's a third, where there are humans, there's garbage. And to an elephant, this is like a gigantic buffet. Trouble is, in this buffet, there's a lot of plastics and undigestibles that can get stuck in the intestinal tract and often lead to death. Now, most of these dumps are surrounded by electrical wire, but oftentimes they go unmaintained. And once an elephant discovers a dump, they typically never leave. Sadly for an elephant, this is a one-way dead-end street. So really it's a one-way street. Once they start eating at the dumps, they don't go elsewhere and th these objects accumulate in their systems until they ultimately will die. With up to 30 garbage dumps in Sri Lanka hosting herds of elephants, perhaps four to 500 elephants now are reliant on garbage dumps. This is over 10% of the entire wild population of elephants. Thus, we can say that over 10% of this endangered species survives on human garbage. Perhaps even worse than the blocked intestine is what happens to an elephant that relies on plastics for its meal. After years of consuming garbage laden with plastic, the elephants will develop complications related to ulcerated intestine. They become sick and ultimately they'll die early death. This is a situation with many species in the wild. Humans are so reliant on plastics now that our impacts are worldwide. The elephants at the garbage dumps is just one place where evidence of this occurs. But there are solutions in Sri Lanka with keeping the elephants out of the garbage dumps. Here we are at the garbage dump in Hambentota and here we have a vertical fence. Underneath is the standard horizontal strands used in most electric fencing. And unlike about 20 or so garbage dumps throughout Sri Lanka, this one has no elephants in it because this particular setup of electric fencing is working to keep them out. A year ago, there were herds of them inside munching on human wastes and plastic bags and all sorts of things that weren't good for them. Approximately 10% of the elephant population in Sri Lanka is habituated to garbage dumps, unfortunately. But something like this, which although is much more expensive than traditional electric fencing, is actually effective in keeping the elephants out.